What's up fellow gun enthusiasts? I don't usually do videos um, giving initial thoughts um, on a certain firearm. Uh, I feel like there's tons, of, there's tons of different firearm manufacturers out there and a lot of companies are doing the same thing. But today was the uh, reveal of the Hudson H9 striker fired 1911. So I thought with the initial release, as far as the information goes, video goes, things like that, I thought it'd be cool to kind of give you my opinions uh, on the initial release of this pistol, kind of show you what it is that, that I carry every day, and then in turn, how I feel um, about what Hudson ha has done with their their new H9 striker fired 1911. So uh, first to, to get into it, this is this is what I carry. This is a Glock 43. I have the the night sights and the Strike Industries uh, plus two mag extension. There, the gun is unloaded. Safety check. Um. I'm I'm a, I'm a Glock guy. I'm I'm just I'm I'm gonna come out and say it. Um, I've shot, you know, um, tons of different guns. Um, and just for me, personally, I uh, I like the way the Glock feels in my hand. I like I like the balance. Um, a lot of people think it's ugly and blocky. I actually, to me, when I look at a Glock, it's aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, I like the simplicity. Um. And the reliability of the Glock. I also like the fact that you know you can get basically 150 different parts from 150 different companies for basically every part on a Glock. So I like that it has that upgradability um, as well. So um, obviously the Glock is is a striker fired pistol, uh, like the the M and P's, the Honor Guards uh, pistols like that. So when I when I first heard that. Um, Hudson was going to come out with a striker fired 1911 that they were going to kind of revamp the 1911 and kind of push it into the future. Um, I, to be honest, I was I was kind of intrigued. So today they put out the official pictures, videos, the specs on the gun, and if you go and look at the gun online, to me personally, to me, I think it's cool looking. I think it looks like something out of RoboCop, something out of Judge Dredd. It looks like something out of the future. The way that you know, you you would think about guns looking like in 20 or 30 years. Um, so to me, it, it was really cool. I, I I like the way that it looks. Um, it has obviously it has the the same um, kind of backstrap and beaver tail um, that uh, the normal 1911 has, uh, but it, it's a little more. It's if you go look at it, it's a little more rounded and a little more sleek looking. And then when it comes out. Um, to the to the front of the gun, um, instead of just having that normal that uh, normal 1911 look, it ha it has a real kind of boxy boxy look to it uh, right in front of the trigger guard. Um, so it, it, to me, it looks pretty cool. I know I've been seeing some things online. People have been kind of complaining about the way that it looks. They don't they think it's really ugly. Personally, to me, I, I think it looks kind of cool. So um, you know, striker fired 1911. I was I was definitely interested in that. Um, there's the fact that it holds 15 rounds is what they're saying. So I didn't see if it was, um, I would imagine it's a, it's a double stack magazine. It's only five, like all five and a quarter inches tall. So it have to be a double stacked uh, magazine. But um, having said that, having, having said that I think it looks cool and I like the idea of it, of it carrying, um, you know, um, 15 rounds of being striker fired. Um, there's actually photos online of it. Actually, um, somebody actually broke it down, and it looks honestly like a Glock would look. You know, it doesn't have you know 16 different parts that you have to pull apart and whatnot. The the simplicity of it is is pretty pretty attractive um, to people who are used to that, used to used to Glocks, used to M and P stuff like that. So um, the Berettas, but um, the thing that I don't like about it, um, and, and I think might, I won't say might, I would say will, will keep me um, from purchasing 
um, this firearm is while they took an advanced kind of approach to the look um, of the firearm itself, they didn't they didn't upgrade like the weight of it. They didn't make it necessarily a lighter pistol. Um, they didn't and they and they didn't make it you know so that price so that the average shooter you know could could go out and buy this pistol um i think the msrp on it right now is like 1149 um and you know it's 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 coming in at like seven and, and three quarters inches um in length five and a quarter um inches in height and i think about an inch and a quarter in width um 15 rounds and then i think it's 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 clocking in at uh 34 ounces unloaded so you're looking at probably 43 ounces 44 ounces fully loaded so to me that's still that's still a really heavy pistol if you're if you're looking to you know to buy this and maybe just take it to the range and have it be a range gun or you know something that you keep in a nightstand or whatever next to your bed then you know i totally understand um you know maybe the want and the desire to buy it but if this is something that you know you're, you're maybe you're a 1911 carrier are you you know you're somebody who carries a, a full-size um glock 17 or Glock 21 and you're thinking about possibly purchasing purchasing this you know carrying around something that you know is 43 or 44 ounces um, and you know about seven you know and three quarters inches um, in length you know to me that's 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 pretty that's pretty significant so um, I'm not sure what you know if they're gonna come out with maybe a, a a compact size a carry size of, of this pistol eventually but um, to me there's there's too many things about this that w would make it so that I wouldn't personally want to purchase it or own it um, and that is that is the price and the weight if to me if you're gonna advance something don't just advance the, the look of it advance the weight like take it and go you know what Th these are usually used to being you know 34 36 38 ounce pistols you know, let's 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 make it a 26 or a 28 ounce pistol, and you know, let, let's uh, let's put a, a price tag on it of you know 7.99 or 6.99. I think if if uh, if Hudson had done that, then they would probably have more people um, in, intrigued and um, you know on board with with um, the idea of of what it is they're trying to do. Um, I I think that they had they had a real shot and a real opportunity to do this right, and I think the fact that they they have this coming in at at almost twelve hundred dollars MSRP, and the fact that it weighs you know thirty four ounces unloaded, um, I just don't think that the, the advancements that they made there, I don't think, you know, justifies what the what the gun looks like or the intrigue that it's a, a striker fired. Um, 1911 i just if you're going to spend that kind of money why don't you just buy you know a national um match colt you know what i'm saying um you you i mean 1911s now there's so many companies that make 1911s you could pick 1911s up you know for as low as you know three hundred dollars and you know some of the nice mid-range colts and and springfields and stuff you can pick up for eight eight nine hundred dollars so i don't see the intrigue or the want or the necessity to go out and spend twelve hundred dollars for an idea, you know. To me, and, and a lot of people that I'm, that I'm, I'm seeing and talking to about this are kind of looking at this as kind of, an, of a novelty item. It's it, it's not something that a lot of people are are really excited about, from what I've seen um, on, on social media. There there hasn't been a whole whole lot of you know people jumping jumping up and down and and you know waiting to get in line to buy this. So. Um, I mean, if you if you consider that you can buy a Glock 21 for like $550 to $600, um, and it's it's a it's a proven model, um, it, it's a proven you know it's a proven weapon, um, and and it's it's it carries this the same amount of rounds and and and, and it's lighter. I just I don't see why you'd want to spend $1,200 for an idea, $1,200 for something that you're not sure exactly what it's going to be so i think had they had had hudson come in and said you know what we're going to make this pistol a little bit lighter um we're going to you know in the tradition of striker fire we're not going to make it a 36 38 you know 34 ounce pistol and, and it brought the price down on it i think you'd see more people on board i mean i just i think that it has those while, while it's a 
to me an attractive looking um, pistol and I like the idea of it being striker fired and there being less moving parts and therefore um, you know less opportunity for things to go wrong with the actual firearm itself I just to me the price and the weight outweighs no pun intended um, the uh, the the aesthetic and the idea of you know a striker fired 1911 moving moving you know forward into the future of, of pistols so you know that's that's really my opinion now if if you know Hudson was to send me you know a pistol and, and you know I was able to, to shoot it and try it out and me and, and maybe carry it um, you know maybe maybe my opinion on it would change um, I'm not sure. But you know that's another thing it, with, with you know carrying. If you're gonna if you're a 1911 guy and you're gonna buy this and you're gonna carry this, I, I mean who who out there as far as main manufacturers for holsters is is gonna make you know a holster for this or, or different options for a holster for this? I mean with with it being new and with it being kind of looked at as kind of a novelty thing right now and people really aren't sure you know where it fits if it's going to stick if it's you know if, if people are going to fall in line and kind of you know move in that direction w with 1911s or if you know it's just going to kind of be a flash in the pan i don't know you know how many how many manufacturers out there are going to actually manufacture a holster for it so i mean that's another that's another thing that um you know if you're thinking about buying this gun to to consider uh, if you're definitely if you're going to carry it so um right now you know with it just being so new and they're not re being really any any out there in circulation um you know to to shoot and stuff like that or, or to purchase i mean basically all we can do is just kind of take them and take the pistol at its face value and you know see see what the specs are you know see what the the pistol is intended to do and and just kind of base base our opinions off that. I mean, I understand what Hudson tried to do with this. You, you usually everybody who is involved in the gun community knows that you have either people who are you know Glock and, and they're polymer striker fired pistol fans, or you have the people that are you know they're they're the steel guys, they're the you know 1911 guys, um, and you know they they don't think that a plastic gun you know is something that you know is worth anybody's time and what Hudson tried to do is they tried to they tried to merge those two they tried to take you know the the striker fired polymer people over here and the 1911 people there and kind of bring them together and bring a product um, you know into you know the forefront that you know possibly people from the 1911 they might pull customers from here or people from the you know the Glock or the Striker Fire World they might pull them there or people who are you know just kind of in the middle might go man that's pretty cool I, I can get this that I like with the 1911 I can get this that I like with the Glock you know this is the gun for me so I understand what they tried to do and I think it you know it was actually a pretty smart thing but um, again I just MSRP at twelve hundred dollars when you know you don't you don't know what you're gonna get you don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna perform. Um, if I was gonna spend twelve hundred dollars on a nineteen eleven, I, I don't think it would be you know a new Hudson H nine. So you know that's just that's just kind of my view, my overview, and my initial thoughts on on the product that uh, the specs I've seen, the things that I'm seeing and hearing people say, and, and kind of what I what I saw on on their website as far as pictures and videos and stuff like that so um, you know let me know what you think in the comments section below um, like I said if if you know Hudson wants to send me one of these pistols and and you know said hey you know go go shoot it carry it let us know what you think about it um, you know I would definitely you know be be happy to, to do that but I don't I don't see it in the foreseeable future anything that I would rush out and um, you know, spend um, $1,200 on. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know, if if you did like 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 the video, share the video. And uh, I'm curious to hear your comments um, about the Hudson H9 in, in the comment section below. Until next time, gun enthusiasts, I'm out.